This is EJ Hahn with the Wolverine.com, and we're back with another Michigan recruiting report today. We are going to be breaking down the five highest ranked 2025 recruits visiting for the game. It's Michigan Ohio State weekend. If you're not a subscriber to the Wolverine.com, now is the perfect time. 50% off your annual subscription or $1 for your first month. This YouTube channel is completely free, so, so make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Get a notification every time we drop a new video. So like I said, we're going to be breaking down the five highest rated recruits coming in for the game uh, in the 2025 class. We're going to go ahead and start off with the number one overall prospect in the country, and that is Belleville, Michigan high quarterback Bryce Underwood. So Underwood was a maybe early in the week, but uh, as we reported over at the Wolverine.com, him and his family have indicated to Michigan that they're going to work around their state title practice schedule and make it to the game on Saturday. So remember, Underwood does have a state championship on Sunday at Ford Field. He has team activities on Saturday, but he's maneuvering around that to make sure he's in the big house. This is a critical visit for Michigan. LSU has been trending on the on three recruiting prediction machine. The Tigers have a 91.9% chance of landing him right now. I recently put in a prediction for LSU. Like I said, the, the Tigers have gained a ton of momentum this fall. They have uh, the NIL backing. There's a lot going on at Michigan right now, but uh, Underwood's still giving the Wolverines a chance. Uh, obviously, Michigan did take on 300 quarterback Carter Smith, uh, but Underwood not opposed to being part of a two quarterback class, and the Wolverines will be looking to gain some momentum this weekend uh, for Underwood. They're very open to taking him along with Smith. Next up on the list is elite five-star offensive lineman David Sanders out of Charlotte Providence Day. If that school rings a bell, that's because it's produced Michigan commits Channing Goodwin and Jaden Davis. Sanders is the highest rated prospect at Providence Day, the number one offensive tackle, the number three overall recruit in the country. Sanders made his first visit to Michigan for the barbecue at the Big House in July. He's following that up with a visit uh, this weekend. He's really excited to see the offensive line in person. I actually had a great interview with Sanders over at the Wolverine.com, so make sure to check that out. Uh, you know, he has ties to Michigan, obviously, with Davis and Goodwin committed. His offensive line coach at Providence Day is ex Wolverine Jonathan Goodwin, so that certainly helps as well. However, I think it's going to be tough to pull Sanders out of the South. Georgia, Clemson, Alabama, and South Carolina are considered some of the early leaders right now. I think Michigan has some work to do. But with the ties, the Wolverines will continue to be involved in this recruitment. All right, we're going to head to our next recruit and go down to the Sunshine State for five-star safety, DJ Pickett out of Zephyr Hills. Uh, Pickett is one of my favorite recruits for next cycle. I had a chance to see him in the fall, just a tall, long, rangy safety, super athletic, uh, also stars at wide receiver where he racked up a thousand yards. He has a lot of ties to Michigan. Uh, his mother attended Michigan. His family lives around the Detroit Metro. So I know he'll have a lot of family passes this weekend. It's going to be a family event in the big house for the pickets. Um, and this is a crucial visit, man. I mean, Florida, Florida State, Georgia, Alabama, Texas are all, you know, doing really, really well in his recruitment. Uh, I think right now, you know, buzz is that he may stay in the southeast. But if there's one school that can pull him out of Florida, it's Michigan. Again, all those ties are going a long way. He's uh, visited on a number of different occasions. You know, he grew up around Michigan fans. So. Yeah, I think Michigan is a legitimate player here. Uh, the Wolverines already have two commits out of the state of Florida in 2025 in uh, elite cornerback Chris Ewald and quarterback Carter Smith. Both are going to be in his ear throughout the weekend. 
So I like where Michigan stands here. I, I could definitely see the Wolverines pulling him out of Florida. You know, I think NIL is always going to be brought up, but in talking to Pickett and talking to his mom, you know, they have a great plan in place on how to handle it. And, uh, you know, I think Pickett is just a unique five star. And I think he's one of those kids that would bypass, you know, what NIL has become uh, for an opportunity to earn it later and play at a place like Michigan in front of his family. Uh, next up on the list is Texas wideout Andrew Marsh out of Katy Jordan. So I had a chance to visit with Marsh in the spring, and this kid has legitimate interest in Michigan. I know you think of a top 100 wide receiver down in the Lone Star State, and you're thinking he's going to end up at one of the schools listed on the screen, LSU, Texas, Oklahoma. Um, you know, they're all really heavily involved in his recruitment, but Marsh has already visited three times. He made his visit in May, first visit in May. He was back for the barbecue at the big house in July, and now he's returning this weekend. So three visits that this calendar year, that shows you just how interested he is in Michigan. He uh, sees himself as a great fit in the offense, uh, potentially coming in and being a day one game changer. He's established a great relationship with Ron Bellamy, he really values the education at Michigan. His mother actually works at his uh, high school. So, you know, I think Marsh isn't just coming in to take in the game. I think he really loves what the University of Michigan has to offer on and off the field. And the, the three visits speaks volumes. Next up on the list is uh, top edge target Nathaniel Marshall, who's actually listed as a defensive lineman. He's kind of a a bit of a tweener. I had a chance to see him practice this fall. And, uh, you know, six foot five, about 240 pounds is, is exactly what he's listed on his on three profile. I think Michigan right now expects him to maybe bulk up a little bit and be in a, a Jalen Harrell type of role. He could also, you know, add a lot of weight and be one of the bigger edge types. Um, you know, he could be a three technique you know it, there's a lot of ways his body could go but either way you know he's one of the the best defensive linemen slash edge prospects in the country uh on three has him as the number 30 recruit overall the industry has him at number 31 just a really long athletic kid that can grow in a lot of different ways he visited michigan for the barbecue at the big house now getting back on campus i think the wolverines are right up there with rival notre dame which has the lead on the on three recruiting prediction machine but i think a strong visit over the weekend could maybe push michigan past the uh the little irish so you know we'll see what happens this weekend all right guys so that is the five highest rated 2025 recruits coming to the big house for the game. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel for free.